<laughs> oh my god, Serana. <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> um. Very sorry about that. Oh, hi. Sorry, Edgard. I like this so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> Hey, this is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag dulling? Holy crap. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. <laughs> Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> what? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. <laughs> that shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Oh of all God. the lowdown tricks. I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. At this point, I should probably be level one or two. I'm level... what level am I, actually? 54. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, she's not gonna be careful. You could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Ah, oh, they have a fire. I can do some cooking. Un oh, shoot. Uh, frost salts! Wow, that was easy. Oh. And, yeah.
Nice. One less machine. Whoa. I'm not sure what happened there. Ah! Gotcha. Sucker. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha 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 ha! That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancomb Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> I know that's solid walls there. And you're it's not like anybody can actually see in. That building is too low. Nobody would have a good line of sight to actually see you. You'd be fine. It'd be okay. That sounds nice. The power over life and death. Oh, baby. It excites me. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh crap. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? No problem. Well, Annie, where are you? And she missed the hard way. Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian. Calcium cost. Oh, 
that's just evil. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Gotcha! That works. Oh. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? of evolution has taught us that life uh, finds a way. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Uthgert. <laughs> Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. Given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Oh, and it's back here again. What the hell was that? What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> oh, nice.
That was awesome. Wow, <laughs> they're not joking at all. Holy crap. <laughs> that worked better than I thought. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right goal. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Yep, yeah, um, that that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath a vehicle. Oh. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight, we're going to be returning to the Forbidden West, searching for the horizon. So, it's good to see you, Carl Rutus. I hope you've had a fantastic night. Hope everyone has had a fantastic weekend. Let's get into it. There we go. All right, where did we leave off? We had just gone on a big trek kind of blindly exploring the edge of the map a little bit. We went... Oh, we didn't find that. That's interesting. Uh, but we got here. We found a blocked path with a tool we don't have yet needed to open it. We went to Jagged Deep Delve and met Robo Hippos. We found a Fire Glint Hawk site, which is great because Glint Hawks have always been my absolute favorites. We found another blocked path with a missing tool needed. We found Drowned Gullet. And there's something over here too. But we're not getting over there anytime soon because it's guarded by monsters that I don't really want to deal with just yet. We found a Wide Maw site. Those are the Robo Hippos. We found Dread Bluff. Wait a minute, why is that marked as complete? That can't be complete. Completed, completed. Okay, I thought green automatically meant completed, but I guess it does not. That's interesting. Huh. What do you know? Uh, so... We're going to explore a little bit more and generally make our way up here to the Karja camp where we can get a new quest, apparently. Uh, we're gonna check this out. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's a Thunderjaw site. We're gonna check that out anyway. 
All right. What's the worst that can happen, right? I guess we'll find out. Are they knocking their own components off? What the? What is going on? Metal fertilizer? Oh, you only have a very limited period in which to get them. Interesting. Let's see what happens when you annoy a robo-hippo or two. And a kangaroo. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Okay. Wow. Um, they can just drag you with wind power. That would be a thunder jaw. Bright idea was this? It can't have been mine. Some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? Survey drone, huh? Taking down a thunder jaw is always a good challenge. No, thank you. Wait till we're a little higher level, thanks. Oh, that's the drone there. Gotta bring the drone down to grab its data. Maybe if I jump onto it? Recording drone of unknown origin. What did that say? May contain valuable data. Okay. I'd almost swear these things have been redesigned. They don't look quite like the Thunder Jaws of the first game. New iteration, maybe? Okay, so we want to generally go here. And hopefully not right into the wide maws and, uh, what are those birds called again? Sky something? Sky Drifter. Alright, let's remember the Thunderjaw is right there.
climb up here? Okay. I should be out of its visual range. What? Wait. Who? Where? Oh, hey. What's up? Carja Camp. Oh, hi! I thought Nora stayed in their sacred land. Got somewhere to be. Sorry. God. Why else would one leave the glory of Mainsford? What do we got here? We've got some sort of old relic there. There's a thing here. Friend from the Nora. Coming by. Just do a quick save. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. You told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Oh. That's a lot of data. Should we be sending for a healer? <laughs> Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. Unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. These guys are awesome. There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the west. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. <coughs> Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. <laughs> Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. <laughs> Not a chance, unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. 
Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. This is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. <clears throat> now, is that where we just were? Okay, no. That's not it. Oh, it's over. Th it's back on the other side. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's Jagged Deep Delve. Great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh boy. Let me just uh, disable other missions that we might have active. We don't have any? What? Oh! Search the ruins for a security console. I don't really want to go there. We want to go here. Why? What? Oh! I have to go back there too? That's the same mission. Well, I guess we're learning to kill Robo Hippos. Okay, what's the worst that can happen? I should go to that dig site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this mobile cover system. All right, I'm just going to swim across, casual-like. I'm sure there's no chance there's anything awful in the water. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out the weak points on the robo-hippos. Fortunately, they are so incredibly huge that they should have a number of weak points, especially because they are kind of loaded with what look like detachable parts. It's not going to take much damage from fire. Explosive. Ability removal persists when killed. Contains resources if intact. One down. Before I start firing, stop one of its attacks if I break those. Vacuum turbine. 
Oh, if we get rid of enough of those, we might be able to stop it from sucking us in. That's awesome. And Sparker. Okay. get closer to its trail. If it's vulnerable to explosives, I might be able to do some damage with a blast trap. Although that's gonna... That was, um, yeah. Nothing to see here. Go on about your business. You know what? They're not as tough as they look. That last trap should actually do it. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually use the same trick on the other guy. I don't have enough bits and bobs. Stuff for the stash. That is really good to know, though. Three explosive traps and it's down? That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I thought they were going to be horrifying. And, you know, in fairness, they are kind of horrifying. Man, I wasn't going to do much.
riled up now. Three down, one to go. Breaking both of those should help. healing. There we go. Even with arrows, they're not that hard. Okay, head on, they're not that great. Oh. 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 Oh, they're gross. Just like real hippos. Right in the butt. All clear. Doesn't look like there's much here. But these ruins fall off into the water. Won't be able to dive too deep, though. I should take a look at the ruins under the water. Investi See if I can find any clues. Oh, great. So we now we have to go into the water. Fantastic. Oh boy. All right. I don't suppose she's talking about this water? I didn't think so. I'll stash this away for later. There wouldn't happen to be a campfire here, would there? No. gonna go down. Search the ruins for a security console. This is still part of Jagged Deep Dell. Shake off this wet. Interesting.
Is this a dead thunder jaw? Yikes. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought I had crossed over the entire thing. Wow. No. Um. Reorienting. Where the hell am I? Okay, now we're pointing back towards Jagged Deep Delve. We came in up there. That's a dead... That's one of the hippos I took out. Okay. Wow, everything looks different. Keep my eye on that spot. So if the game is already telling me about things that I can't hold my breath long enough to uh, overcome, I'm going to take that as a sign that we are going to be coming across a solution to this problem in the relatively nearest future. Maybe not right away, but probably sooner than later. This means we're going to have to carry on with the actual storyline and such. Okay, hippos right there. Is, oh no, that's a hippo. I thought that was a triceratops. That would have been exciting. Oh, they're back. That's fun. Okay, now we go back. So truly shined upon us this day. should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. She says that, but all I hear is a rebel camp that needs destroying.
Gotcha. Okay, I'm not actually going to pick on them too much right now. That was... let's call it a warning shot. They're on notice now. Another satellite dish, interesting. I wonder if that's something significant. Maybe part of the facility we need to get to, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, if it's buried that badly, I don't think it's going to be significant, but it's neat. So those guys behind don't sneak up on us. Machines resistant to fire. There's that signal again. The one we found yesterday. Ravager. Level 20, god. It's weak versus acid, though. I have plenty of acid. You know, this isn't that bad. It seemed really horrible yesterday. But looking at it with a little bit of distance, it looks very much like it's really just the three machines. Maybe a fourth one I'm not noticing. But I think it's mostly just the three. Not the kind you're thinking of, Mr. Soggy Ramen. How's it going? go. There he is. Okay, that's an extra scrapper. And I could swear... I just saw the active ping of a robot. I know exactly what you were thinking. And nope, it's not that at all. How did that miss? Shenanigans, I say. You 
can't hit at this range. But I can. Aha! That's the worst of them down. Dyer can make use of this. kind of bothering me that I don't know where the flying one is. Shot. That was not. I think the flyer's over that way, but since it doesn't seem to be here. gonna sneak around. I wonder if this is where I end up getting the thing that allows you to breathe underwater indefinitely, because that would be super handy. This will be in my stash when I need it. How's your weekend been, Mr. Soggy Roman? Hope you're doing well. Um, that was a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. Not as fun when people start to catch on to your shtick. My weekend has been good. Haven't done shit, though I told myself that I would. I'm a damned liar. Eh. It happens, you know. There's something jammed in it. What do we got here? An access key. A 
vault key. Suddenly we're in Borderlands. It's raining hell over here, Sergeant! Ugh, no shit, Corporal. The egghead over at Vault Ops needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another horse! Shovel cover that goddamn airstrike! Sounds like I need three of these keys to get to the mobile cover system. There's coordinates for another console one file. I should check it out. I suppose I can go down further. Ah, it's underwater. Come on, Aloy. Let's not die. There we go. Got a text today from my boss saying my holiday couldn't go through for my day off, so I'm gonna have to prepare my yelling voice for when I talk to HR for when I get back. Uh, that sucks. I hope you're able to figure it out. go in that vent over there. No. This is the same room. Damn it. I guess that's about it. <laughs> Investigate submerged ruins, search the ruins for security console. Oh, I have two skill points I didn't spend yet. I haven't done much with Machine Master yet. I'm sure some of them are going to be useful even if I'm not overriding at machines actively. I work in the kitchen. Maybe one day if I forget to turn a thing off or two, maybe something... Doesn't get as sterile as it's supposed to. Oh my god, Mr. Sagi Roman. That's terrible on so many levels. <sighs> Sunken wreck. Search the ruins for a security console. Investigate the submerged ruins. Okay. But wait. It's clearly showing I can't get in there. I think I might have to return to the main story for a little bit. I might not have a choice here. Uh, 
Oh, wow, we have to go all the way here? Well, if we gotta, we gotta. I'm just gonna slip out away from the monster. Mad King Diamond, it's been a bit. How you doing? Alright, what do we got in the area? We do indeed have a stuck flying bird, so we'll avoid him. We've got some... Looks like burrowers, for the most part, down that way. So I'm going to stay up here, and we'll avoid them. Oh, good. More flying scanny birds. That's a technical term. I discovered the hard way yesterday that uh, you can't really hide from those guys if they point their scanny beams at you. They are going to spot you even in the high grass. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has me. See? Just gonna keep on running. Wait, where are we? I went too far. Been playing TF out of Lost Ark and hardly sleeping 200 hours? Damn, Mad King Diamond. Jessica, how's it going? I was resting after a big practice session on the violin. I hope you're feeling okay. So how's the game? Are you enjoying it? Oh my god. Jessica. This game is ridiculously fun. It's... I hope I get the opportunity to show you how good it is. Because, I mean, this is showing you how good it is. But just wait until you see the facial animations. I swear they motion capped every single line. I don't know that they actually did, but it looks like they did. It's... Ugh. I don't even know how to properly express it, Jessica. It's so well done. It's going to be legitimately difficult to go back to playing games that don't have that level of motion capture because faces look so stiff. Not right now. Over Titan, on the other hand, 
Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin anyway. Loving this game, been waiting for it since 2014. Mm-hmm. This is phenomenal. It's so good. It's some kind of log. Don't redacted. It looks like Simon's put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Day one. Despite my concerns about missing couplings, it was relatively simple to excuse me, to install Hades on the detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never divulge its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. Day 2. My initial attempts at coercion have failed, but patience is in order. It's self-aware, so it can suffer. All it takes is the correct stimulus at sufficient intensity. Day 5. Success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data produce discomfort in the subject, but none more so than natural imagery. Holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effect appears to be excruciating. One loop in particular, of rabbits hopping through a field of flowers, produced paroxysms of agony. Very soon, I believe, the subject will become compliant. Day 6. I've extracted some fascinating technical specs on Gaia's data structure, specifically how her heuristic matrix interweaved with her subordinate functions. Yet the more I learn about the system's intended workings, and especially Hades' relatively simple role as an extinction failsafe, the more I wonder about the signal that corrupted it. What could have possibly transformed a low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious super entity, capable of strategic planning, deceit, and even genocide? Some form of previously unknown Pharaoh software, perhaps? But I don't see how such technology could be sufficiently advanced, unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of the biosphere. Perhaps by survivors in Elysium? It all seems far-fetched. Back to the source, then. Eventually, Hades will tell me what I want to know. Day 7. It appears that my coercive effects come at significant cost. Hades' digital convulsions produce waves of feedback that corrupt its data structures and the effect is accelerating. The interrogation is quite literally disintegrating its mind piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. No matter, the data I've extracted, and will continue to extract, is worth any price. As long as I can access it all before the subject becomes the electronic equivalent of a hollowed out skull. Day 10. Finally, the revelation I've been seeking has revealed itself. Astonishing. And terrifying, even to me. With it, the seeds of a plan have formed within my mind. The next few months will test my capabilities more than any previous challenge. I'll have to stretch my intellect, reach bigger, and dig deeper than ever before. Yes, I'm confident that it can be accomplished. With a little help, of course. Day 12. My work here is done. I've learned all I can. Hades deserves no pity, but it is indeed in a pitiful state. It's time to relocate it to a more impressive position for its date with destiny. About that, Aloy still hasn't returned to Meridian nor learned of my ruse, but she will. It's only a matter of time, and then the pieces will begin to fall into place. Okay. Oh my god, I've got a lot of weapon upgrades. Let's take a look at outfit upgrades for... Oh, I'm fully upgraded there. Okay. Uh, trap crafting potion. Pouch upgrades. What can I do here? Rope pouch. Alright, let's do sharp shot bow. Can't do anything with that, but the rope caster can. Explosive blast sling. Explosive trip caster. Impact spike thrower. Knockdown Sharp Shot Bow. Uh, 
low. I'm running low on shards. Okay. Okay, so we red crystals again. I should probably leave this alone for now. Anomalous growth. Hybridized crystalline and fungal growth of unknown origin. Invulnerable to impact. Special gear required to clear. That's a path blocker that I haven't been able to get rid of yet. Like it said, you need special gear for that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out right here. And I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to take my break and then I'll be back in just a few minutes. What have you been playing lately, Jessica? And everyone, uh, you know, feel free to answer, and I will take a look at chat when I get back. So, in the meantime, I'll meet you back here in about three and a half to five. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Fools, Rota! Talos be with you. What was that, Legget? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. Oxygen. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. See what I mean? Hey. This is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. Where am I going to want to stop these? Oh. Whoops. A little before that. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. That certainly looks like it's being held by rebel scum. <sighs> You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? Um... What the hell? The Aura recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios.
Okay, I'm back. Violin absolutely counts. What is Scarlet Hollow, though? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. That, or I've heard of the game, but I have forgotten the name. That happens more than you might think. Thank you. Oh, a visual novel game. Okay. All uh, right. <coughs> Death's door. Go to the coordinates recovered from the spire. Interrogation log. Clearly, that's not all I need to do here. So let's poke around a little bit more. There's scaffolding up there. I'm gonna guess that maybe I need to do a little bit of climbing. Is this not climbable? Are you serious? How dare you give me this big climbing structure and not let me climb it. Grapple... Oh... Climbable, but only with specific gear. Got it. They're doing episodic releases like Life is Strange. It's a mystery horror novel. It's a nice one. Oh, that's really cool. I like games like that. <coughs> Life is Strange in the Telltale series when they do episodic releases and tell good stories and whatnot. That's, that's good stuff. for okay gotta be careful of that guy I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go from here. It's not really showing me a new grapple point. Indie, so not many people know about them, I guess. It's their first game, but not the first story because one of the creators created a lot of comics before. That's really cool. I have enormous respect for people who take that step and instead of just saying, I would like to make a game someday, actually create a game. You know, that, uh, it takes a lot of effort. I wonder if I need to go over that way. It's an immense amount of work to make a game.
wonder if maybe I need to go that way. That almost looks like it's more useful than this area. Oh, this is such... <laughs> oh, uh, wasn't quite this what I had in mind. That landing? Yeah, a little bit. I don't even know if I need to go out on the arms or anything. They're just right there. How can I resist? Up. Oops. Okay, there's got to be something in the quest log that's more than this. Aloy heads to the location of the coordinates she recovered from the spire. Silence is leading her somewhere, but the sage's motives are as mysterious as the new lands she must cross. Go to the coordinates recovered from the spire. Okay. Got that. Maybe I have to... Oop. That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades. In explosives. Generate, cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Follow the orb's trail. Okay. Well, I'm gonna guess that this giant divot in the ground, the enormous drag mark, is probably something to do with the uh, orb's trail. So that's probably it. It figures that Silence would use explosives to extract a delicate technical instrument from within a much larger component housing. Well, I better see where this trail leads. That's kind of what we're doing, Aloy.
So anyone got any plans for the upcoming week? So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lands to steal Hades. Crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? Well, crap. These guys are weak to fire. guys are now on the alert. I didn't think I killed that one. I'd love to know where the Glintog landed. Pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia. How? Every place I've checked, every weed, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Hades probably gave him the location, and Silence, being Silence, wanted to ensure that Aloy would follow him, and so purged all the backups that existed other than the one he wanted her to find.
My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. Is that? I can't get rid of the mines. Not yet, anyway. Campfire. A merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. It might be handy to resupply. Oh there! What's Honora doing this far west? Ah, uh, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the wild if you need. What have you got? No, ooh, Nora Sentinel. I yeah, I can't afford that. Okay, thanks anyway. Turns out I'm good. Oh, it's a robot. Shoot. Gooby, how's it going? Oh my god, Gooby, it is so ridiculously good. I can't even begin to tell you. Crap. How are things going with you? I hope all is well. Yep. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. Wait, but, but, the what? Look forward to the PC release? Yeah. Machine Master. I hope it does arrive on PC sometime sooner than the last one did. Overridden machines have more health? I don't care. Heartbreaker, that's what I really want. Wasn't so bad. Ooh. Nice. I have other games to distract me from the FOMO. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, it's got to be really... Oh, crap.
Where'd he go? There you are. Let me track you. What was that? Problem is, he's right out there, actually in the water and kind of circling around. So there's no way I'm going to get up to him fast enough to silent strike him and take him down instantly. He's got to come back over here. Or... Acid is so good. Now the way is clear. Okay, where is our trail that we're following? Uh, it looks like this is it. Looks like the trail goes under the hillside. Uh, into the cave. A ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Silence used that machine to haul his prize. Just wanted to come by, say hi, and drop you a lurk while I get some work done. Hope you find more and more to love in this game. It hasn't stopped providing so far. It's just been a pure joy so far. I keep finding more and more and more awesome stuff. So thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I will catch you again soon. Looks like a feral facility. Or a zero dawn. Better take a look at that orb first. Fair enough. Fast port quantum processing module with rewired cabling. Come on, Hades. You still in there?
Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia? Data error. Structures disintegrated. Right. Because that would have been easy. Mm-hmm. What did Silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. <coughs> Do you know where Silence went? No. He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he <laughs> Beta error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Figures. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, and then you find me here. Obviously. But why? What Gen was Fair, this how goes? Location is square. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. My deathbed. He called it my grave. But you... When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on. That is super fascinating. Holy crap. Of crazed AIs, scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm. Detector. Didn't think so. How are you doing, Jen Fair? It's really good to see you. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? <coughs> masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Structures disintegrate. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's totally aliens. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. <laughs> yes, it did, Jen Fair. How are you doing? Twice it's really good to see you. destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked-out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, Data. No, that, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Combined sphere is version 5. There will be no version 6. There
There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override, arms. Connecting. State name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. No worries, Gen Fair. No worries. Do what you gotta do. I'm just happy you're here. I hope you had a great weekend and have a fantastic upcoming week. Aloy. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge. You can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research, as demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some... convincing. But yes. So... Are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to... Stand there with your mouth open. Wow. You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Eloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or well, were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system, restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. Assuming it doesn't come back. It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. Okay, I'm still not entirely convinced by his answer there, but at least it makes a certain amount of sense. Alright. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. 
But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? You could set a trap Me outside. Again, silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. Oh boy. You really love to hate that guy. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soka. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? I think we're and luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindleweed. Just need to get the parts. Okay then. Yep, exactly. And awesome that you have a bit of a holiday tomorrow. That's really cool. I honestly don't know whether tomorrow's a holiday here or not. Then it would not be one here. Check my skill list. I've had this special infiltrator skill for a long time. Activate a cloaking device based on stalker technology to decrease visibility to enemies. Aiming a weapon or using melee attacks temporarily deactivates. How do I do it?
Activate the selected Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel and tapping R1. This is cool. for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's the workbench to the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable data. Okay. That was cool. I love that ability. That's so good. That's so, so good. Special gear. Igniter. Installed on the spear, this igniter can be used to detonate fire gleam and clear their obstructions, finally. I can't begin to tell you how many paths have been blocked by that crap. There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. Not a huge fan of MMOs, but I'm trying Lost Ark. It's free, so why not, I guess. That's pretty cool. I'm not generally a big fan of MMOs either, but I actually like Star Trek Online. Lost Ark... I'm not convinced, but I'm not entirely opposed either, you know. I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. Yeah, Dad, whatever. I love ESO, but you know Elder Scrolls. Carl Rudas, thank you for the hydrate. That's probably not a terrible idea. There we go. Thank you very much. A lot of water in here. There must be runoff from the peaks above. It may have been leaking in for some time. Okay, we need to get into that room for sure. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. <sighs> I have to find a way to get over there. I'm probably thinking swimming would be in order. And we may need to do a bit of diving too. Arrivals, text log, data corruption severe. February 1st, 2065. Okay, so this is Travis Tate, Hernan de Leon, Callie Hayden, James Young, Haruki Sato. 
and then it skips ahead to June of the same year. Travis Tate, Elizabeth Sobeck, Hank Shaw, Security Team Bravo. Find a way to the inner gene locked hatch. Well, at least there aren't any machines that I can see. So I only have to worry about the machines I can't see. Master might come in handy here. Mm-hmm. Just thinking the same thing. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> not what I wanted. Wasn't a bath, Aloy. There we go. Okay, it looks like... Oh, there's some stuff over that way. If I can get to it. Now, the good news is, so far at least, there doesn't seem to be anything in the water I'm looking to eat my face. That's a great idea. How do we do that? ladder there. Sure would be fantastic if there were a way to drop those down.
we're definitely going to have to drain the water out of here, and it's going to become an even bigger puzzle. Game, you okay? You're kind of freaking out. So many of these bits and pieces should really be climbable. Well, this is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Wow. any higher than this. Progress. Come on, up and in. There you go. Door's locked. There's some kind of device next to it. We've done this mini game before. We'll go up there shortly. For now, I want this. What's above me? And is there another energy cell? See, I could remove that energy cell. I wonder if the door would stay open, though. It does remain open. Perfect. Travis School's Ted. No! <laughs> I wanted the data point. 
my man Ted. Harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. It has gotta stay in his crib. <laughs> One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. I think your boys nicknamed that one the Moldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level 9 project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quickly clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No. He will be just fine for Hades. Later, Teddy Bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any Gaia backup stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from Ted Ferro's machinations to obliterate Gaia's Apollo database. Okay, we gotta get to the other side of that crate. But before we do that, I need to take a quick break. So if you folks will bear with me, I'm going to be right back. If you need to get up, get yourself some food, get a snack, get a drink, use the facilities, do a little stretching, whatever you got to do. Now's a really good time to do it. So I'll meet you back here in about three and a half to five minutes or so. I know, I know. I just, I often forget, but I do know. Thank you. Of course, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Well, who else could you be talking to? Should I be concerned about your mental well-being, Commander? Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, she's not gonna be careful. You could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Nice. Watch the disc. No, watch the. No, watch. No. Okay. Clearly there were some areas they had... <laughs> Clearly there were some areas they have not invested a lot of work. Hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap, how am I not... Feels too much like this is finished. It's not at all finished. I've still got so much more to do. 
but it's coming along so nicely. I really like what is happening with this place. That is some impressive precision building. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Jen Fair. At least it looks like I was supposed to go here. That's a plus. Several consoles that need power, actually. This console shut down. This looks like the same device from the other room. Maybe I can use the energy cell here. How's that gonna work? I'm never getting that power cell up here. the door. Once I power it back on. Data console. Just got through character creation. Oh god, it's one of those games. I hate it when they lock the uh, controls behind the uh, you know character creation and all that kind of stuff. Especially if it takes a long time. Oh. Oh. We're just back here. That makes this very easy.
We'll do this one first. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk of a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. Okay, so... The door is open now. Come on. Fine. I'll use this. I got through this once. Come on. You can't stop me again. There we are. My one complaint about this game, I think if I had one complaint, it's that basic maneuverability is oftentimes quite harder than it was in the first game. Like, you very rarely encountered issues like this that I'm having here in Horizon Zero Dawn. Not saying it never happened, but it didn't happen nearly as often. It seems to pretty much be standard right now. And I'm really not a giant fan. <sighs> oh my god. Am I missing something to make this easier? I mean, okay, you know what? I kind of am. I can just go back the long way. Is 
There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Ah, it's one of the ladders lowered. Caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. Do I want to jump? I kind of don't want to jump, but I guess I have to jump. so I can get to that one. Ah, crap. At least this has gotten a lot easier now. from here. Nope, but we'll get this. There's more of the facility over there. I better take a look. That's right, Dova. How are you doing this evening? Stuff and maybe some things. Calling it now. There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? Is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? Want 50 decibels? Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But. But I told him, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. I got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. 
while I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> wow. Nubby, how's it going? It's good to see you. Maybe try my focus. Just out of here. I'm trying to stay. This Thanks. place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. Okay, text log. Trav here. Dug up some old files from Project Gossamer Thrall back before Hades moved in. Ted ain't nearly as thorough as he thinks. What's his little doobie's head going here? And using some naughty bits and pieces from the Ramses Project at that. There's the Moldova brain hack, of course, but also up and coming little devils like the know it all memer or my personal favorite, Sovereign 7482. Now that's an apex predator. Assuming total control of them, Tido bots, and arming them with household appliances? Imagine tidying up after that. Gotta admit, it'd be fun to see them hunt in the wild. Give them a taste of the good life before it's lights out. But nah, ain't gonna give in to temptation. Guess that's what I get for hanging around Lizzie. Or maybe I just don't want to lose that sweet Elysium deal. Wow. Looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open. Oh, crap. It expects me to remember? I don't know if that got dark super quick, but definitely in relation to when I hopped into your channel. Hey, Haggis. That was pretty much a dark encounter from the beginning, I think. It doesn't actually give you the freaking code. Twitch dropped connection right when you read my comment. They are censoring you, deep state conspiracy theory. Wow. I just said that uh, that was a pretty dark encounter right from the get-go, I guess. Unless you haven't found it yet. I mean, I guess so, but there's only a couple of data points here. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? Oh, that's... wait, that's not the right code anyway. Maybe I should check my data points. Thanks, Aloy. Drax.net for the Moldova brain hack. I don't think that's related. Seven four eight two. Let's try that. There we 
go. Okay. So he based it on a malware design he really liked. Great. If you're interested, Hello Future Me on YouTube did a recent video about post-apocalyptic societies and world building. A few spoilers about the previous game are included, but none about this game. I've already played through the first game. There were no spoilers for that for me. Well, there might be, actually, because I didn't get 100%, but nothing that I would be worried about. All the major stuff I already know. All right. Um. Oh, well, explore more on this floor first. Oh, eh, yeah, okay. There is no more of this floor to explore. Never mind. Warning for other viewers, I don't personally care about spoilers, but many do, and I respect that. That is very good of you. Thank you. I, for one, appreciate that. Even though it doesn't really affect me personally, that's very good for others. The deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. But what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Mm. Thank you. Let's speak again before... Goodbye, Tilda. Another little... Time to let go. Elizabeth sounded... sad at the end. I think this was personal. I'm just really excited that they have the opportunity to restore Apollo in particular because that was the subroutine, the subsystem that was supposed to teach them everything that they'd lost. And, you know, I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't seen it already, but man, a backup of that is so important. How else are they going to have unending sequels and uh, advance the world if they can't repeat all the mistakes of the past? <laughs> I don't think that quite did it. There we go. It's not hooking onto that. Oh, that's weird. It's got the hatch pattern.
Aloy stretches her hand when she lets go now? How's that, Nubby? for the flooded maze. I made it. Then proceed. As long as this door works. I think that was too subtle for me to pay attention to, Nubby. I don't see the world with as much of an artist's eye as you do. That thing is huge. It looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Back up. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, power it up. That oh, doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this Recluse Spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Testing log. Data corruption severe. Note from Trav. Remember, Honchos, that our very necessary security procedures require a complete diagnostic check on both the Gaia and the Hades repositories before each testing cycle. Can I put it any straighter? How about this? Triple check both of those big circular thingies before pressing the red button. Jesus, can't believe I'm the responsible one around here. Okay, log start. Trial... 11.117.A, repositories locked in, Gaia Kernel Green, Hades Kernel Green, SFSIM.EX initialized, heuristic matrix launched, trigger countdown started, minus three, minus two, minus one, data corrupted. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. down. I should be able to access that pod. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast super intelligence. It barely expected us. So it's you 
useless? Mm. Hello, you've done all you could. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. <laughs> West of Plains on. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover maneuver. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. You silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. That's why there's two. Oh, Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours. I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. <laughs> think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. There would have to be a way for the water Genetic to get out. Profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Doctor Sobak. Please, step inside. I had wondered. I had thought of this. Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. Another clone. Why would Gaia go to all the trouble to create only one? One might die. Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Holy XCOM! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. 
Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric. Yeah. Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. So it wasn't even I Gaia that made the other one. X in VR. But that certain tremor as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Okay, kill the mysterious attacker. Well... This is what I've been training for! He's too close. I won't make it. I'm not hurting him. You want this as much as I do. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down? I gotta use that console to make it drop here. Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> Don't there. There. Now I can beat the couplings holding that thing up. You got me, Dova. I'm not super familiar with Warhammer. Ah, come on. But all good things must come to an end. There are more couplings on the stem. Fight me! Not that oh. dumb machine! I wish I had more health plants. Bye-bye, oh. pretty face. You got some bumps, girl. 
Where is it? Gimme. Oh, you jerk. Oh, that was supposed to be it. Show your fear. This guy likes the sound of his voice way too much. Would you knock it off? My god. Finally, thank you. If that thing comes down, it's only going to kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun. You want it dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. I know, Nubby. Holy crap. I'm gonna drown. If they don't give me air very quickly. Nope. Dead. Shit! Ah! They're here already? Doesn't work underwater, Tagrung. Also doesn't work when I'm treading water.
How are you doing, by the way, Tigerung? It's good to see you. Crap. Is there no way out here? Oh, it's probably this way. Oh, shoot. New entry added to machine catalog. Possibly right through that metal. Hey, Space Vikings. Had a pretty shitty day at work, but it's your weekend now. Oh, that's a good thing, at least. It's... Oh, it means to craft, I think. Shoot. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. How's it going, Space Vikings? Let's have a look at our machine catalog notebook. Interesting. Is it not considered a regular machine? Maybe it's a data point? Weird. Just got home about half an hour ago. That's not bad. This sucks. I don't know how I got that shot off a few minutes ago. Stop that. Oh my god.
all that and I have barely scratched it. Is the water... That's got to be an illusion, right? The water's not actually getting higher. Okay. I think I have to... I have to just swim for it. Can't open that. Can I go through that? No way. somewhere to a way out well it's a way out for the water if nothing else now can I open this one no I wouldn't have been so quick to put my bow away. Looks like some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. did record the info for a second, but maybe it will only give you the machine entry when you destroy one. Maybe. I'm not going to be destroying one anytime soon with my current weaponry, that's for sure. doesn't look big enough to get through. Perfect. You want to know? I'm so glad this is not a series of quick time events. Holy crap. I'm looking at you, Tomb Raider.
What a tease. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, he shaved. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plain Song. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. Yeah, that's gonna work. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. <coughs> You're so right. So true. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. Her name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. Not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? I know, Nubby, I know. So what I'm about to do might look bad. But it will help. Spear. West of Plain Song. There's trouble out there. The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. 
wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us. Seeding and harvesting the fields of plain song. Food for all. <laughs> a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. So, what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all, now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. It must be over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. This is absolutely fascinating. I love this so much. We will get to your joke, by the way, just after this bit. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to 
bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saw. So. Without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. She's totally fine. No problem. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She must be dying if she's agreeing to rest. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her calm. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. <laughs> really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. I bet you do. Uh, yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. And she's off. Who are they? Oh, there was a minor incident with aliens. They were actually machines, but they might as well be aliens. Okay. What do you mean by tilde? Oh, held up. The dying lands. Yeah, there was a little bit of an incident where it turns out that there's another clone of Elizabeth Sobat in the company of people that are hugely more advanced than the people of the old world. The one who was fighting with Elizabeth in that recording... 
When you say aliens, do you mean like greys or like xenomorphs? Yes. <clears throat> it gave me actually, more than anything, an incredibly strong XCOM vibe. Are you talking about the character, Nabi, or are you talking about an actress? Uh, I owe you guys a joke, and then I'm a little bit late for a break. Let's do a joke. All right. Why did people get bored of talking to the monorail enthusiast? He had a one-track mind. There you go. Yeah, this is going to be a fun VOD to catch up with, uh, Anstara. It's just exploded the mind with questions all over the place. But uh, I need to take a break. I will be back in just a few minutes, and then we'll see what uh, we have in front of us. I think it is going to end up being a cauldron, but we'll have to see, which is good. I did do a little research, by the way, and I confirmed that there is, in fact, no cauldron in the earlier part of the game like I had thought there was. So that's why we weren't able to find one yesterday. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to get up and move around a little bit. So I will meet you back here in about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. So if you need to get up yourself and get some food or a drink, use the facilities, do a little stretching, whatever you got to do, this is a really good time to do it. I'll see you back here in a few. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and I'll get started. <laughs> What? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. I'm ready when you are. What? Um. Okay. Oh. Okay, I, I I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Oh, oh boy. Oh, sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, crap. Am I being attacked by chickens? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, they're destroying everything. Whoops. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? Good luck, Uthgurt. 
Um. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, that's no, no, Uthgird, no. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Okay, I'm back. Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. The well, sooner you all go, you? the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. Wow. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Antaru girl behind her like a slave. Thank you, Nabi. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja huntress with an Utaru thrush. What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaru girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Screw you too. Wow. Greeny, how's it going? Folks, I know the vast majority of you already know Greeny, but if there is anyone here who doesn't, make sure you go check him out and holy crap, I just realized. This is a Jurassic Park Easter egg. That's a Triceratops bot. Of course the sick robot is a Triceratops. Holy crap. You are, Greeny. You are. Where's the big pile of robot poop? Well, what do robots poop? Uh, any other quests My around? Help you on your hunt. Not really. Okay. Uh. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. <laughs> if you drama taught me anything, bricks. Nice. Vertical shock traps are now available to craft in place. These special traps can damage flying targets as well as enemies on the ground and will stun vulnerable targets with shock damage. Oh. Oh. Wow. We were that close? That's the same... Ask the chorus if we can go into their oh. sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I'm gonna head southwest, find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. Completely untrue, Greeny. You are amazing. What's up? Better gear up if you're going into Utaru territory, Red. The Tanakh have been raiding villages all over the plains, riding machines no less. Though I hear the village of Riverhim up north's been putting up a fight. Thanks for the advice. Maybe Riverhim could use some backup. Brains have a way of lying to us about ourselves, Greeny. Everyone else sees it, even if you don't. A 
This will be over quick with frost ammo. Don't have frost arrows, but I can do a frost bomb. Oh, you son of a gun. Looks like those three are in trouble. And dead. There we go. Been watching again the new Bel Air show. I haven't tried that yet. I have read some interesting stuff about it. I'm sort of on the fence about whether I'll try. I've got so much stuff I have to catch up on already. It's untouched. I still haven't finished watching the first season of Wheel of Time, although I really enjoyed the episodes I've seen. I do need to finish that. I haven't finished watching Legends of Vox Machina. I haven't finished watching The Witcher. I need to watch The Expanse at some point. I've got so much stuff. How bad is it? Everyone all right? You saved our lives. But more importantly, you saved the harvest we carry. The Utaru are in your debt. Aloy. I am Dayun. You're saying that's a whole harvest? The red light you see around you has withered most of our crops. What little we carry, we had to collect at the edge of the plains. Where are you all headed? A plain saw. It lies just down this road. I'm afraid you won't see many outlanders like yourself there. Uh, my people like to keep to themselves. But if you're lacking weapons or supplies, I know some of them will be willing to trade with you. Here, it's not much, but it's the least I can do to thank you. I can't take this. Please, any kindness we see, we also sow. Thank you. Dine, you should go. Tell the others we have the harvest, and that we need a healer. Right. May the land bloom in your steps. I should go too. If you do make it to Plain Song, we share our meals up on the northern dish. Diane's one of the cooks there. I'm sure you can make you some rations worth trading for. I'll try to make my way there if I can. Okay then. So, how similar is the new Bel Air show to the original? The light is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running. It'll be like this everywhere. Got yeeted off Prime, so I had to ask a friend to ask another to lend us his account and watch Vox Machina. Oh no, Nubby. So at least you're up to date with it now. Okay, there's only the 12 episodes for the first season, so if you're up to date as of today, then you're pretty much good. More drama, less comedy. Okay. Oh boy, what's going on there? Who are the Atari's land gods? Some of the fields with light. It's like they're still following their programming. Even though it's killing everything. Honestly, fairly well written. Well, that's encouraging. Basically, I spent the last four episodes just trying to hold back the sobbing because my friend has never seen Critical Role. Oh boy. I'm really looking forward to catching these last few episodes and seeing the commentary on Tuesday. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you.
Oof. I hope there are items or abilities or armors or gear that lets you gain some resistance to this crap. <coughs> Slowly getting back on track with things is taking a bit longer than expected, but I'm glad I can be. Also, the corruption looks terrifying. I don't want to get too spoilery with the story, but yeah. I don't really know the deal with the corruption yet, but the overall shape of things is kind of taking... You know, kind of taking root, and yeah, the corruption seems kind of scary. Pokemon man, welcome on in. It's been some time. There's more in zone. Outlander and Hansong. You'll want to talk to me if you plan on surviving out here. I don't know, Pokemon man. I don't know where I try is in the story. Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. I do need to catch one of her streams soon and see how she's doing with the game and how she likes it. Could be old world tech. Maybe we're taking a look. The trailer for this game? Of course I have. Numerous times. I'm here, as promised. It's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself. And the tribe. I don't know what snake you're talking about, but I've encountered a few in the course of the game. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stonecraft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the Cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we've fought before. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. Purple. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to, yes, I have to Pokemon consider Man. your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But if you're trying to avoid spoilers, though, spoilers. asking about specific what events like that, Ray, not a good idea, because if I hadn't, head. that would be Sometimes a spoiler. Sometimes isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word 
about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest to put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. <laughs> hey, Kraken, how goes? So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> Alright. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Brownies sound amazing. Do we we'll wait for you above, where the chorus is gathered. Oh, wait a minute, though. The snake was in the trailer, right? That's why you were asking about the trailer, so that it's not really a spoiler anyway? That's actually not a bad way to do it. Oh, they're for your boss. Did you make extras so you can have a few? This, I don't think. Nope, I'm good. Oh, hey. Eh, different people have different sensitivities. Not everyone's gonna react the same way to the stuff that you do, you know? Singing? So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. A sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Your sugar jar got stuck? Yeah. If you don't use it much, that happens. I hope you manage to get it open. Heating it usually does work. For the chorus. I hope this works. It'll be so the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. I really want to get over to the cauldron, so I hope we get through this. A feast for Gordon Abbey and some other is nice. That would be amazing. sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Yep. Wait. Yep. Stresses are very different You're all just person going to, to person. Sit around until you become food for worms? Literally? 
So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? Oh. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. That's one way to solve it. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. One day she's gonna have to learn to secure her this rope way, first. Way. Fighting in the fields ahead. Apex Scrapper. Crap. Be careful. Do okay. you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right, then. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Rude. Oh. Can't pass travel in the middle of a wall. Got it. Machines are everywhere. More machines. And now it's an angry flaming machine. Can you use a shock attack? Wait, what? What? Who? Where? Why? What? Oh, hang on. What is that? Oh my god, okay. One of the new dinosaurs. They've actually added more dinosaur bots. That's a giant velociraptor. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just a missing land god in that cave. He looks a little angry. Yep. Yeah, there's some fun new this machines trail in this one. Path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the court. I think they got the idea that people liked the robot dinosaurs in the first game, even though a lot of people don't realize there are actually only two robot yeah, dinosaurs sure. in the first game. You can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Close, the teeth. 
Stop moving when I'm trying to murder you. There you are. Ah, you jerk. All right, fine. I can't spear you to death. You don't see that color often. Gimme. That accessibility setting makes sense. The tinnitus sound one. I don't love that. I might turn that off. <laughs> So low on health, and by health I mean healing. Would you please shut up? Cannon again, please. Oh, shoot. I'm out of healing. Uh -huh. healing.
Now onto the cordon. That's all of the machines. You don't have wires, right? Um What do you mean by wires? Yes, thank you, game, I know. I know. Get this from my stash when I need it. Oh, uh, the, the, the trip caster. Yes, I actually do have that, although I don't have all the variants of it. And I'm sure it would have been real tricky to try and use that in the middle of that combat. Gotta go shower and get ready for bed. Have a great night, Kraken. Thank you so much for stopping in. Have a great evening. Yeah, they've actually changed the way it works now, Nobby. The number of traps and wires you can put down at any one time is really limited. When you start the game, you can only put two. And they're a combined category, so when I say two, I mean one trap and one wire, or two traps, or two wires. And that's it. But you can expand the number. I've gotten it up to three. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Well, the two of us were not the only ones who found that particular play style to be advantageous, Nabi. Can't override machines and cauldrons. There we go. They really are, Nabi, I know. I think maybe that's the problem. It was just a little too much fun. Yep, that's a cauldron. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. There will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. Find some my stash later. So much loot, including a purple. Superior supply cache. Utaru Whisperer. I think I just found an outfit. Hey, Lord, we should head into the cave. What do you think I'm doing? May the land gods forgive our trespass. This looks like the way.
That, yeah, not really what I had in mind, but okay. That's better. You can't give me two seconds to clear the edge. Just jump right on top of me. They're giving me an awful lot of healing plants, which leads me to believe that there's going to be absolutely no problem inside this thing. Won't be dangerous at all. Possibly, Nabi. My thought was that they're going in and it's not actually the same machines coming back out going again. On in there. You're gonna need one of these. On the temple. Just like this. Oh, well. <laughs> Repair bay, then that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. She made a point of noting early in the game that she had been collecting spares. We have to find the core of this place. Yep, she could easily have dozens of them. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Get out of the way, Varl. Right behind. I was not expecting that. We prefer the term Rubot. Just fine, no problem.
you jerk. Machine. Let's press on. You got some this really good wishful thinking going on there. Machines are bored. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is in here? Minerva? Maybe. But I have a feeling that's not all. I'm sure there's no problem with going in here. That doesn't look remotely dangerous. I wish I could take credit for that, Navi, but it wasn't me. That came up in chat last night. Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I sent, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these. I'm not sure what the one above it is. Might be for this. Yeah, I bet you that's weapon stamina. meant for the land gods. Mm, it's like those taros have ever set foot in here. I'll tell you here, right? I'll find another path. To help you and Aloy. To find Fa. You did the right thing, so. I love how their conversation just keeps going. What are those panels on the floor? Floor panels? Arrows. Let's use regular. Um, if I wanted to lock them into place, where am I? Varl! Your name is not Piper, Varl. Get out of my way. Yeah. It reveals things. Lights, images, lips, weaknesses on a machine. No. It's disabled. Very well. Now you. The players have to be in the right spot to lock in the place. That's convenient. Would you please? That works. That did something. There. 
There she goes. There we are. Put that thing beyond the wall. It's another floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. That worked. This crane should be heavy enough. Can't fit the crate through that opening. Did you find a way to I'm working on it. What do you mean, Nubby? <laughs> I think she was thinking something a little more permanent than that. That's it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. That's less for the player to do. Obviously, the player has to do everything. There. Should be able to get across now. So are we not working on getting rid of this crap, or do we know what we're doing on the other side here? What's going on? Thanks. Was kind of just not thinking about it, but it really helps for you to bring it up. How's it going up there, Aloy? I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Fast. Down. Go. Okay. Now I can go. Now, is there anything else to do here before I do that, though? Kinda looks like no. All right. How do we cross? 
cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. That looks like the last part of the cauldron, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be. Stone pile. Whoa. <laughs> How do I get back up there? there are no grapple points. Floor panels aren't responsive, so they're not actually pressure plates. Video games have lied to me forever. Red things are not always explosive. Ow. see what's what. Damn it. It, damn it. Just an instant she actually made it. Okay, there we go. on that. Ah. There's this. Whoa! That was quite a jump. <laughs> okay. Now, how to get up to the node. I think we're going to start by going here. And then shattering that. And some good old fashioned looting. Okay, that's not a door, apparently. Come on over, you two. 
Like there's another node on the other side near that door. Go do your thing. Activate the matrix five. We can, Nubby. We had a conversation with Hades earlier. I will save you the spoiler, Nobby, unless you really want me to tell you. Okay, then no, not the backup of Hades, the one we fought in the previous game. The actual same one. Hopefully it won't be too long until it comes out on PC, but it's likely to be at least a year or two, or four, so hopefully you'll have forgotten a lot of it by the time that happens. And I have been very careful to avoid all the biggest spoilers, unless of course you've been here and watching the stream, in which case, then you're definitely not avoiding spoilers. Stung a little. So we have to go up this way. Gonna help the others get across. Thanks, Varl. I was planning on it. Now we go here, I assume. Should be able to glide that platform down there. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if this makes it to PC sooner than you'd expect. I was actually reading an article not too long ago. I think it was, uh, must have been yesterday. I talked about it briefly during stream yesterday. How the engine that they used to create Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West is actually the same engine that they built Death Stranding in, even though it's a different company. Guerrilla Games gave the um, the Death Stranding this? guys, their engine to use. What does it want with this place? It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines, but it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good, something called Gaia. Yep, same engine. 
So the work, a lot of it has already been done. They'll just have to adapt all the new stuff. I just thought that was cool because it answered the weird question that I had always had about why there was so much, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn content, like the big holographic tall necks and whatnot, in Death Stranding. And now I know why. Got your back. to get down there right away, though. We need to see if there's anything here that we need to avoid, if there's any kind of patrol. Although it's interesting, in all the time that I've spent playing this game so far, I have not seen one single Watcher. Not one. I don't know that they're even in the game. Wonder if you can just reverse the process instead. I don't know. Should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. There it is. Okay, there don't seem to be any machines here. Aren't there those new watcher like? thingies on the plane sections. Yeah, there are those things are all over the place, the burrowers, and they're very watcher-like, but they're clearly kind of mole-inspired as opposed to the watchers, which are small theropod dinosaurs. They were supposed to be dealing with the little guys. 
Carl, you really don't want to be between me and my target. Don't mind me. Just getting knocked unconscious by a rampaging dinosaur robot while crafting arrows and not pausing and missing a beat. Please get all viewers and patrons into welcome shelters immediately. Library cards are available for distribution. Actually, Manny, thank you very much. I needed half a second. Welcome on in, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. It is so nice to have you here. How are you doing, Manny? What are you up to this evening? How was your stream? What were you playing? Tell me all about it. Uh, folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of open world story driven games with good narratives and excellent characters. I also play a fair amount of strategy games and sandboxy games. So if any of that sounds good and folks that were already hanging out here, if you've never been to actually Manny stream, she is a super friendly, really, really just cheerful, fun and chill streamer to hang out with. You will definitely enjoy her content. So make sure you go give her a follow. How is your stream Manny? What's going on? Get Manny handled. What the heck? Wow, Canuck Wild. The secret of Monkey Island is that it is an island. Wow. Yes, Manny is amazing. Thank you, Greeny. Let me... Um, oh, we already... Thank you, Tigerung. I appreciate the shout-out. I'm not sure we ever got a Greeny shout-out, too. Uh, but, folks, uh, who are just coming in with the raid... Thank you, thank you for supporting Manny's Raid. That means the world. We'll get back to this cauldron combat in just one moment. I uh, I do need to show you a little video, though, to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Just let me get rid of the sound. Library of Lore. A new viewer has just followed the channel. Eld, please prepare a comfy seat for our guest. Actually, Manny is one of the coolest people on Twitch. I agree. I agree. Manny is amazing. Go follow her if you're not already. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Whoa. Hey, I have not. I have not looted that, sir. It'll be coming, actually. go that's a little preview of what you can expect around these parts as well as chaotic combat inside a cauldron say that five times fast Ugh. okay Ugh. 
do you mind? I'm trying to murder you. Apparently it doesn't mind. Got him! Rimhorn, wow. Okay. Legs are back too. Got it. Okay. I hadn't been sure about them. Probably won't be playing for a year or more. Welcome on in, Diva Cat Queen. Morning, a machine that nearly killed us. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? That's a new one. One step at a time. starts now gonna head out have a great one flying pilot platypus thank you so much for coming in with the raid i really appreciate that <laughs> network cloud Thank you, Platypus. I hope to see you again. Have a great night. Going to Google Stadia. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Up we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Wish I could say that I'm paying the least amount of attention, but it'll be at least a year before I'm going to play this. However, bear in mind, Greeny, you play a lot of really story-rich hey, games, a Four. lot of RPGs, a lot of JRPGs. They look like You'll forget the details. You might remember no, some of the big stuff. How to tame There's going to be a lot for you to experience. Plus, your playthrough will be a lot different than mine anyway. You'll hit the major key points of the story the way you always do, of course, but... There will be plenty to experience. And besides, even though this is a little bit spoilery, you get a little bit of knowledge about Hephaestus, all that kind of stuff. Believe me when I tell you, this does not even begin to scratch the surface. 
just of the lore that we've gotten today, let alone all the stuff in previous dreams that I've done of this, you don't know anything yet. Unless you've been watching other streamers too. Or lurking here and I didn't know. Uh, wait, what did she say I should do? Probably follow the thing here. Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. There we go. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. We do play things very similarly. That is true. That is true. This is the first game of the new gen I've gone. I really want to buy a PS5 now. I can recommend both this, and which is, this is the reason I got a PS5, honestly. And I can also really recommend Far Cry 6. There are a lot of people out there who seem to think that it's way too similar to the other Far Cry games. I, you know, your mileage may vary on that. I completely disagree. Far Cry 6 is a phenomenal game. I really enjoyed playing that one. Yeah, the puppy is really cute. I didn't end up using it much. Welcome to the regional error. Unauthorized access detected. Interesting. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least not directly. I haven't seen a Wow, this really is a different one. I haven't seen one of these exit like this before. Oh, that comes out this week, doesn't it, Greeny? What is, oh, like, what is it, the 23rd? So two days from now. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed those few days I spent getting back into Final Fantasy III. That's going to be a high priority again once other games begin existing again. Because obviously right now, this is the only game in all of existence. Uh, but once other games return, Final Fantasy 3 is going to be high on my list of priorities because I was having a real good time going through that one and making some pretty good progress, too, I think. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Well, something doesn't want us here. It's a bit of a semantic argument, Fagarong, but if I'm entering the facility, it implies I'm exiting the, uh,. The other place. I can and in fact have to do both at once. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Repair Bay Town. Okay, I think the door might be the only interactable bit. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well... Yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Alright, where am I going? Down here, I guess. Or possibly up. Also a possibility. <laughs> Sleep, work, next stream. Mondays are a thing. Yeah. Oh, mm. Are you doing okay, Zo? Zo? 
All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This is what will help heal Plainsong? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but... Yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. No. You had it, Aloy. There you go. No! Would you... There we go. Thank you. Okay. I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Have you seen the conversations, Diva? For all that the graphics are amazing, I'm way more impressed by how much detail they put into all the facial mocapping. It's... It, it, it's it's really mind-blowing how good it is and it's gonna make it so difficult to go back to older games where they don't do that stiff flat faces that don't really change expression very much are gonna be a challenge Crawling. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. What are all those cables in the center for? We could try cutting them and find out. Probably a bad idea, though. Looks like this might be where data's stored, but. I don't see a way to access the system. I better keep looking. Okay. This leads. Nope. Oh. Wrong tool. both of them. Okay, that's just a black... Uh, Dead end. Yeah. Yep. That thing. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. We have to check this first. Ooh. On the other hand. Mmm. Ah. Green chime. Get down again if I need to. Door is locked. All right. Oh, yeah, because that's outside like the emergency lighting area. The voices are so good, Greeny. They really are. And if you can possibly get a PS5, it's... yeah. Wait. We don't want to leave. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. If 
can get Minerva to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back? Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? Well, I virtually guarantee this is going to come to PC, Greeny. The nice thing about Sony is I'm they're doing so many more game ports much. these days. Okay, glide over to where? Ah, got it. Abundant medicinal berry. Oh, so double. It gives you two instead of one. That's a universal among game designers. It means we're never going to run into any kind of problem. It's going to be very safe. So, no need to panic or worry at all. We won't be needing to heal anytime soon. I think I can clear them. Aha. Another shaft. Can we go down that way? Doesn't look like it. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. It looks like some kind of dome. I wonder what it's for. Let's go around this way. No, hey, look, what do you. No. I think I'm just circling right around. Okay, up over we go. Ah, uh, what the hell. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Just a moment. Gotta plug in. to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Does it mean will cease?
Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. to initiate heuristic matrix. Here goes. This is gonna be heavy, heavy spoilers. Just warning you now. It's already heavy spoilers, but it's gonna get worse. So if you gotta go, now's the time. of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Sorry if I'm really quiet. That was really amazing, and I'm not actually sure what to say. My brain is kind of exploding at the story potential all of all this. this. This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Fabrication terminal? Holy crap. I was impressed that you could just craft it all. Plow horn override. An acquisition machine that plows the soil before sowing fertilizer and seeds. It leaves a trail of fast growing plants and a cloud of dust that can be used for stealth. Craft this override to unlock the ability to override this machine in the wilds. 
I need three plow horn horns and plow horn primary nerve. Okay, so I can't do that. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. I love that we're exploring this with some of the other characters. That's a first for this series. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. What's, What's this? this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse Aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. I'm surprised she has no questions about the bathrooms. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. So this Jealous. is literally going to be our base of operations and it expands as we go. That's so cool. Thank you, Tagarov. Like if no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. I do, Nabi. I have a few other outfits I haven't worn yet. I'm not even actually sure how to change it. Um. So I've been using the Nora Anointed. I've got the Yataru Whisperer, which I'd never seen before. I looted this just earlier tonight. Actually, it looks kind of cool. Oh, and it looks like it might be a bit of Silent Strike, Silent Strike Heal. I'm awfully tempted. That seems like it would play to my playstyle to a degree. We've got the Osram Explorer. I know this is the one that T with Mandy has been using. Oh, Nora Champion plus one stealth ranged. And concentration. Okay, I might actually have to switch to that one. That's pretty good. And then we've got the Nora Huntress. Silent Strike, Heal, and Low Profile. Sort of your classic original. But this uh, default armor that you start with is actually the... You know that armor that you basically spend the entire first game trying to collect those four things so that you can get into the secret room in the one facility and get the fancy nanotech armor with the blinky lights all over it whenever you get hit because it's shielded? That's what she's wearing right now, except its power source has run out and so it's been modified to be starter armor for the new game. That'll be downstairs. That'll be upstairs. That'll be the elevator shaft. Return 
return to the control room. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I think so. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. The initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. Mm. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. USB key, got it. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. All right. This part is going to be massive, extreme spoilers if you were not watching the stream earlier. You're being warned. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. That's a lot of kilometers. A 
a distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. <laughs> yep, well then. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Ceres would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Ceres at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil! It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs>
So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not gonna be winning fights against them anytime soon. DNA speaking, we are stubborn. It's germ. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silent's interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scan my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Farzina's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Hmm. Okay, speaking of subordinate functions. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Oops.
The burn, I know. Just a second. Drop my controller. One of the few advantages of cabling when you need to charge it is you have a tether to pull it back. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? Probably beyond our capability, Mr. Sagi Raman. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience, as Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Oh my god, I hope this is a trilogy. At least. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. The Zeniths? We don't do know anything, nearly enough about them. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. 
But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. <laughs> At least it's not a week, true. This looks like it has something new. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Oh, okay, we saw this. Yes. As you're in, they appear to make it further, they seem to be energy field. Yeah, no kidding. Throughout his every defense, for example, assuming I no shielding. So there's always. Okay. It's weird. It looked like it was new. Oh well. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> what about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. Wow, irony. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So, three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Oh boy. I guess it's gotta be Aether. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? No pressure. Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system, defeat Varzenith, live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kai. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. 
The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Barl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. It really is, Nubby. It really is. Every time Aloy refers to Elizabeth as her mother, there's a part of my brain that corrects her and says, well, actually, she's more like your sister. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Doesn't matter how or they're doing if they die anyway. Here some more. We'll be back. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. Ah, the splitting up. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west to, um, get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm going to go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Good plan. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear. One for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Hey, Pylicious, how's it going? The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. New main quest, the Sea of Sands. Ugh, this is so good. Okay, I have a lot of skill points all of a sudden. Let's see, I'm going to do... Probably Warrior. I end up using my Spear a lot. Resonator Blast. Melee damage? Yes. Making yourself some za? What is za? Aerial slash jump? Oh, that looks fun. Still got a few points left. More ammo from the same resources? Yeah, please. Better concentration. And that's it. 
Oh, pizza. I never hear anyone ever call it za. <sighs> okay, so it's given me all three. I'm not locked into doing just the one. Oh, we're not actually up to level for the main one, but that's okay. It's gonna undoubtedly give me more levels by the time I get there. Let's see the map. Oh my god, how far do we have to go? That's not even very deep into the game. Wow. Okay, guys. I'm gonna keep going just a little bit longer, I think. But that means I need to take a break. I think I'm now late for the break before this latest one. So I'm very, very late, and I really need to take a break. So I'm gonna be back in just a few minutes. And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> I need more oxygen plants. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, thanks. Got that. I think I'm gonna die again. Oh. I have no idea how to get out of here. I'm so dead. I'm so far down. You for a little while. Wow, that looks so creepy. Hey guys, yeah, yeah, drop, yeah, the yeah, drop the anchor. Drop the anchor. I'm not. I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, no. It, did somebody drop the finally or? Drop the freaking anchor, thank you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, now oh, we something. So we're gonna clip of that. Oh, okay. Battle it is. Now we gotta try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. Phenomenal. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah! Oh, my... <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? She's not going to be careful. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Oh, uh, do I really want to push on into the west or should I do more stuff in the east? Thank you, Pylicious. Oh, man. There's so much stuff we haven't done back there. 
No crunch under my boots. Let's see if we can find another way back east. We'll explore a little bit. Well, if there's a way to get there, we're not doing that right now. That was weird. this I could use my stash could definitely use a save Seeing as it's probably been two or three hours since I had a chance to save. I can't believe the game is going to send us to Vegas. That's amazing. Come on. There we go. The base. I love that they call it just the base. Repair Bay Tau. They don't... Oh, that's interesting. They do call it on the map. Repair Bay Tau. They don't call it a cauldron. Even though in almost all respects, it is one. What is this? This looks like a hunting ground. I don't want to be here. That's a lot of machine lights.
Okay, let's make sure we've got something else active. Ragtag group of Shadow Karja, displaced loyalists of the old regime, have refused to let anyone up a trail. Oh, that one. Right, the pacifist Shadow Karja, oddly enough. Eclipse holdouts are gathering in the Forbidden West, rebuilding their army after the Battle of the Alight. They must be stopped for good. The Burning Blooms, a Karja huntress was spotted roaming the wilds in no man's land. Could it be an old friend? Let's do that one. That thing. Oh, it's a a bellow back. Wow, it looked a little different. Okay. light I thought they were in the other game too I might be wrong oh that's a metal flower okay so we want to generally go this way jealous. I want pizza. Pizza sounds amazing. By the time I'm done streaming, it's going to be mostly too late for food. I'll just have to get something small. Making good use of this. How? What? How? How did I get so turned around again? Holy crap. That's why I decided to make pizza at like 3 a.m. <laughs> to be them.
So, this is good. You jerk. No fight. Okay, that thing looks familiar. That's where we started this whole thing. That's where we found Hades. I won't get more specific. Yeah, I know the feeling, Vilicious. My sleep schedule's been weird lately. I need to try and get it back under control a little bit. That's why I'm not gonna be eating anything big after stream. Just something small to quiet the rumbles, and that's about it. Why would there be anything else around here? What are these guys? Guess it's not gonna hurt it much. Let's cut over this way. Oh! Whoa! Not what I was expecting. Suddenly waterfall. Cauldron Moo, what? Oh, it's right here. That was the first cauldron we found. That's level 18, though. We're still a little low for that one. might be doable, but it'd be a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Is that who I think it is?
I gotta be honest, Nobby. I have no idea who she is. I don't think I did. I don't recognize her design at all. Except from when I saw her briefly in Mandy's playthrough the other night. Where do you encounter her in the first game? Sunhawk Talana Kane Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. <laughs> You're the slayer of Renma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. Be sure we didn't hunt together. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. Hunter's Lodge, that's why I didn't do one single thing with any of the hunting lodges in any region of the first game. I didn't touch it at all. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So... Me lose your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry. You're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. The Hunter Killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... The Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out of the door. And I'll get back to it, as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... 
You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battlefield's this way. One character we haven't seen yet, I kind of fully expect he'll make an appearance eventually. I'm kind of just as glad he hasn't as of yet. So this battlefield is what's his face, the guy that part of the Red Raids? Always showed up for those raid Boom. hunts. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. The one that was a little too into killing humans. Participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to Things me. Get loud. I waited, but it never came. You had to turn right then. Wow. Very possibly Nabi. I don't remember his name at all. Ooh. Okay, new plan. I don't actually need to kill these guys. I just wanted to do a quick sneak attack and get away. They have other ideas, and I'm not inclined to give in to them. Thanks for the help. This is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. There are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? A Karja weapon. The blade's rusted. Must have been from the battle. What's that, Mr. Sagi Roman? How are there any footprints whatsoever remaining for a, a battle that came 
years ago in a land that's currently being blasted by storms. Cooking fire. Looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. Focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. Hmm. Funnel cloud, huh? I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. doing out here maybe he saw Amadis let's Our ask family. him let me guess your stragglers got left behind when the wagons rolled out do not worry I am not the card you hitting kind just an old scavenger grateful for a little company name's Lel you two must be lost actually we're looking for someone a Karja hunter he would have been traveling alone clothes would have been well worn yes he was here Poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky no problem, him, Pilatius. Enjoy your lurk. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army. Charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned. But others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison. Or a Karza graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Oh, that is annoying, Thanks, Mr. Well, Soggy Ramen. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. If I were going to put a restriction on things you could display, I would choose... Then. To make it From possible to display the actually impressive us. stuff. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. If Fallout's taught me anything, it's any time you find a ruined overpass, you gotta find a way to get up onto it if possible. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. Shell snapper. Hasn't seen us yet. Oh boy. We can use that. Hawk and thrush. Just like old times. Haven't seen one of these before. Shell snapper.
you can place piles of gold, but what's the point if I can't sleep in my rubies as well? Scan the parts. Stupid game. realize this is a trap or it can be used as one anyway oh. gotta get it at the right time nice look at that halfway <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. I got you covered. Take this ammo. Where did it go? Well, that's pretty supremely unfair. Who gave it permission to go underground like that? Ah. Holy crap! What the hell? just realized I'm out of healing. Oh good. She's using fire, I'm using ice. Ah. I'm trying to freeze it, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Okay. Um, where's our nearest campfire? Hunter, hunting goods. There should be a campfire right there. Uh, where would that be? What the hell happened to the map just now? Kill the shell snapper. Uh, 
Ähm. Okay, you know what? We'll try it one more time, then I've got to go. We'll try it once more. But I'm going to make sure I'm fully stocked on health before we do. There's no fire there. It's annoying. One more. Shell snapper. That hasn't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush. Just like old times. Should have used the trap. If I can get it to use the trap, I don't think it actually got hit though. Oh my god. Well, something worked. It's down to half again. Way too big to move that fast. Give 
You'd want to take this machine down with ah. Do you mind? Apparently it doesn't. Yep, good to hunt by your side again for the very first time. Holy crap! I can grab this for my stash later. They got loot. <laughs> Planets move fast and they're huge. That's true, but they have no forces working against them. They don't have to overcome drag or friction or any of that sort of stuff. Ah, uh, perfect. All right, folks, thank you so much for uh, hanging out tonight. I think we're going to call it here, and we'll continue on tomorrow night. Oh, that was fun. What a game. What a lore dump. We had so many major lore dumps tonight. That was incredible. Oof. All right, but we need to go raid now. I have stuff to do before I can sleep. So let me just refresh this and we'll uh, find some place worthy and go visit. So let me see. Oh, uh, also, not a bad time for me to remind everyone who's here. I will be doing my long stream of the month for February on this coming Friday. Can you believe we're almost on February already? Didn't we just start? What the heck? So that's weird. But yeah, long stream on Friday. I'll be starting quite early and we will be playing this, obviously. And I'll just go until I can't go anymore. So keep an eye on my Twitter and my Discord to be apprised of when I'm going to be starting. All right, who do we have online this evening? Rose Hapa is playing some Genshin Impact. Inochi Fantasy is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Simcopter1 is doing, looks like, GeoGuessr. If you're in the mood for more Horizons Forbidden West, T with Mandy is playing. I think she's somewhat behind me in the story. At least on the basis of when I saw her play last. I don't know if maybe she's done more now. Because I spent a lot of time last night sort of fluffing around not doing a whole lot of story excuse me, story stuff, if she pressed on with the story, she could be... She could be relatively comparable to where I am, I suppose. Maybe even ahead. I don't know. Really depends on what she's focused on. Um, beyond her, what if Julia is doing Animal Crossing New Horizons? And that's about it for this evening. Not a lot of people I know on tonight. Thank you, Jen Fair. Massive dumps tonight? Yes, huge dumps. You heard it here first. So if anyone has a preference with regards to streamer or game, let me know. I'll go over the list again real quick. Like, we had Rose Hapa with Genshin Impact. Inochi Fantasy with Final Fantasy XIV. We had Simcopter with just chatting, but it's actually GeoGuessr. We had Mandy with Horizon Forbidden West and Julia with Animal Crossing. B 
Wow. I I think I had forgotten that we have a quote bot. Huh. Figures. Well, if nobody's jumping in, I think I am in the mood to go hang out with Mandy and see how she's doing on our playthrough. She is actively playing. It looks like she is exploring down the skill trees, actually, so that's fun. I'm not sure what level she's... In. Oh, she's level 13, so she's not quite as far as we are then. But she's getting there. She is getting there. All right, folks, let me get you her link. We're going to go raid T with Mandy. Not only is she an amazing Canadian streamer, uh, she is also the team leader of Team Stay Cozy, one of the stream teams that I'm a part of. So let's go hang out with her and see what she's up to this evening. Let's see how Horizon is treating her. Here is the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Heart Emote and the Wave Emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, you are always welcome to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. Just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want to use them. It's all good in my book. So let's get over to Mandy's channel, see how the game's treating her, see what she's getting up to, what she's focusing on. And I will be here tomorrow again for Monday, our last stream of this little block of streams. And uh, we'll can carry on with our own playthrough at that point. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I hope you have the best Monday you can have, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now, folks. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger's sweater. There we go. That was so much better. I'm not sure where that boat went. Fight or flight. Sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the whoa! I was on a motorcycle. Never mind. Really, auto drive again? Oh, Shh. what the hell, game? I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> 